Hi, this is Dr. John Martinez with Coastal Sports and Wellness Medical Center in San Diego, California. Today we'll be talking about VO2 max testing and heart rate training. For those of you that aren't familiar with either, sit back and listen. So one question I get quite a bit from our athletes is what is VO2 max testing and probably more importantly is how can it help them with their training. Now one of the systems that we use here at Coastal Sports and Wellness is the New Leaf VO2 Max testing system. It's a fairly robust system, fairly portable, and we've had some really good success with it. Now VO2 Max testing actually measures the maximum amount of oxygen that your body can take or use during exercise. And it's important to remember that different types of exercise can have different VO2 Max results. So for instance, a VO2 max test done on the treadmill or running may be different for, an a- for that same athlete who does a VO2 max testing on their bike while cycling. And one of the reasons for that is that you're actually using different muscle groups or you're using those muscle groups in a slightly different fashion. And one way may be a little bit more efficient than another. So it's, the analogy to that would think about how energy efficient different cars are, the miles per hour that different cars get. Now one of the reasons we use VO2 max testing is to go back and look at how at the quality of the training programs that our athletes have. And it's important to know that a well-designed training program can actually increase an athlete's VO2 max by almost 20 percent if it's designed properly. So going back and testing throughout the season helps us benchmark whether or not the training is proper or if the training actually needs to be altered somewhat. Now the VO2 max testing that we do here, we do either on a bike with a stationary trainer or on a treadmill. Now the athlete will wear a neoprene mask connected to by a tube to the testing machine that records the amount of oxygen inhaled and the amount of carbon dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide exhaled. And the test takes about 30 minutes to complete. And then the information we get is actually helps us calculate the different heart rate training zones for the athletes when they go out and they do their training.